Hi guys! Happy New Year! Yes! I know I'm coming in two minutes early, but guys, I couldn't wait. Okay, I'm so happy to be back with you guys. I hope you all had a wonderful New Year's Eve and everybody's not too hangover and everybody's ready for the new, for the new year, guys. I'm gonna wait for you to answer me back. Please let me know if you can hear me and you can see me. I'm gonna wait for your response. Let's see how many people are getting today because I'm pretty sure I have one person. Hello, welcome. Let's see who this person is. The first person, happy new year. Please let me know who you are on the comment section. And welcome to another episode of Hands On With Michael. Yeah. Guys, please hang on, okay? Okay, we're back. Can you hear me all fine? Hi Val, happy new year. Can you all ha can you all hear me fine, guys? Let me try to go to the other camera. Can you see me fine? Can you hear me fine? Please let me know. I think everything is working right now. Okay, let's see. Okay, hopefully everything is working out right now. You know how it is. When you start the year, everything gets screwed up, you know, because everything has to reset, you know, on the computer and on the servers. So I think that that's what happened, okay? So let me see. I just hope the volume is not too loud. I'm just trying to be, uh, okay. Okay, guys, so welcome in. Everybody's here, okay, excellent. Who to go? Okay, excellent. Yes, you see, nothing is gonna stop me, guys, from getting back to you guys, yes. So today we have a very nice video, guys. I'm, I received, right before the year uh, ended, I made an order for the flaming candle, uh, and I got them right the day before, uh, like on Friday, last Friday. And I just wanted to, you know, make this video for you guys. I don't know if you saw the first video that I uploaded this morning. It was the unboxing of the of the fragrance oil. So what I did is I went to the website and I did all the uh, all the fragrance oils that I got. So I'm gonna smell them for the first time. Actually, not a few of them. I smelled them before, but I just want to revisit them because what I wanna do today with you. I want to create a nice Valentine's Day uh, fragrance blend. Okay, so I'm gonna be using only these fragrance oils. To, to come up with a few different blends. Okay, so see you know, what you think about them. Okay, great, excellent. Okay, so the first fragrance oil, it's chocolate fragrance oil. It's this one here. Okay. Let's see what it says in here, okay? Uh, delight. Let me just go to the other camera so you can see you better. Okay, so this is the first one, it's chocolate. Okay, I'm gonna read you. Delight in rich creamy milk chocolate with a light coating of cocoa powder, an indulgent scent that is simply irresistible. Okay, the notes are top note is sugar, uh, the middle note is cocoa, and the bottom note is uh, vanilla. Okay, excellent. Okay, so I'm gonna take the, the scent strip. And let's smell this. Oh my God, it's very strong. I can smell it from here. Okay, this is pure chocolate, guys. This is pure chocolate. If you, I don't know if, if any of you, you know what this reminds me of? Guys, I don't know. Well, I'm gonna age myself. Do you remember Bosco, the chocolate chocolate syrup? The chocolate syrup, the name is Bosco. B-O-S-C-O. -S this reminds me so much of that uh, syrup because it was so decadent and it was expensive in Puerto Rico. So my mother only got it like a few times uh, a year for special occasions. And this takes me back right there. When I was a little boy and I saw my mother uh, mixing a nice a nice big uh, glass of chocolate milk using the Bosco chocolate milk. This is this is the one. Beautiful, pure chocolate, guys. This is perfect to mix with any any fragrance uh, oil that you want to have a, a hint of chocolate. Yeah, so you know it well, Beach Girl. Yeah, Bosco. Okay, the first one. Let me just put it to the side. Okay, the next one. The next fragrance oil, uh, it's a uh, mocha mint, mocha mint fragrance oil. 
Okay, so this is it. Let me read you the information. Okay, this sensory delight is a perfect balance of cream, peppermint, and crisp cookie cookie wafers. Rich cocoa and hints of coffee bean blend with cookie dough for the yummy fragrance signature. A ling lingering on the tone of vanilla sugar sweetens the dessert treat to perfection. Okay, the notes are top note peppermint cream, middle note cocoa coffee cookie dough, bottom note vanilla sugar. Okay. So guys, you know me, I don't like sh uh, sweet uh, sweet fragrance oil. What I'm trying to create is something decadent. And you know, for Valentine's Day, we all like chocolate, okay? So I'm gonna make an exception for this one, okay? Let's see. Okay, this one is making me hungry. This one is making me crave, just like it says in there, like a, like a wafer. Oh my goodness. Okay, a little bit of the, uh, what is that candy, peppermint, uh, the peppermint patties? Okay, this reminds me a lot of that, okay? <sighs> Beautiful candy. Okay. It's weird for me to review this because I'm not really into candy that much, but it just, it take, it's taking me back when I was a little kid, you know, and just love all that candy, you know? So, yes. Okay, the next one. It's chocolate amber, and for this one I had it before, and I love it so much that I ordered a 16 ounce bottle. Okay, so let me read you a, a little bit about this one. This one is amazing, guys. Sensual amber infused with sweet berries, milk chocolate, and soothing vanilla. Okay, let's see. The top note is citrus, middle note, jasmine and violet, bottom note, Vanilla patchouli tonka sandalwood. Okay, this is kind of weird for this kind of a uh, scent to have this kind of notes. Okay, here we go, guys. Here we go. Okay, I'm getting overwhelmed by all the beautiful chocolate smells around me, you know. It's making me hungry. Okay, let's see. Perfection. Oh my God, this is so, it's so good. Oh my God, very yummy, very romantic. It's not sweet, so that's why I love it. It's more like, it's more like me. It's more like, it's, it's so, so welcoming, very like uh, soothing, you know? It's and yummy at the same time. It makes you hungry, guys, once you want to eat something, okay? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I think the, uh, you know what? The middle notes of Jasmine and Violet, are there, but it's not too strong. It's really, really a very, uh, very sensual, beautiful. Okay, so guys, when I finish smelling all the different ones, I'm gonna start blending them, okay? So mixing them together, to see which one I like best. Okay, the next one is Amber Oud. Let's see if I can find it. Again, I think I had this one before because I ordered a bigger bottle. Okay, this is the one. So let's see what it says in here. Uh, decadent woods and oriental notes awaken the ambience with an intoxicating drizzle of gold golden amber. Wow. Okay, the notes are the top note is sweet amber, middle note powdery, herbal, guaca wood, bottom note cedar wood, sandalwood, musk, Vanilla and Tonka. This is heavenly, guys. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love this one. Yes! I'm so excited, guys, because it's like, I know I have an idea of what's coming next, you know, so I wanna create something very special and I wanna share with you. Okay. This reminds me of Chocolate Amber. But in a different way, this one has more, uh, it's more powdery, like it says, and more woodsy. I'm dying to put them together, but not yet. I love it. I really love this one also. Okay, the next one. Black Amber and Lavender. And I also love this one, guys, because look at this. I also bought a 16 ounce bottle. 
Okay, so let me read you all about this. Okay, exotic Egyptian amber and elegant fresh lavender create the heart of this rich, comforting fragrance. Hints of tonka bean and mirror conform to add sophistication, creating the ideal balance of sweet floral with warm, earthy notes. The notes are the top note is floral, middle note French lavender, Egyptian amber, and the bottom notes are black mirror, tonka bean, Egyptian musk, and sage. Wow! Talk about a blend, guys! Talk about this mix! Okay, let's see. I can smell it from here, Haynes. Oh my god. Oh my god. The lavender in here is it's so beautiful, so well blended, it's so well balanced, you know, and it's just like they marry each other so well. Very romantic, again, very sexy. Oh my god. And the black mirror at, at the at the end, you know, I love I love black mirror, I love mirror, and I love frankincense also. It's more spiritual, more uh, I find it more uh, romantic. Beautiful, oh my God, this is gonna be really tough for me, guys. Really, really, really tough for me to decide. But, we're gonna do it together, okay? The next one. Yes, Bluebird, this, that, that oil is amazing. Okay, the next one is, this is kind of weird because I ordered this one. Uh, it's Cabernet Grape Fragrance Oil. And I said, you know what? I love wine, even though I don't drink, but I like to smell it. So this is the, the next one, guys. Let me read you all about it. Okay. Orange, orange sweetens this fruity blend of grape and aged cognac. A hint of spice wood finishes the blend. The notes, the top, uh, the top note is orange and fruity. Middle note, grape and spice. The bottom note, it's oak. Okay, this is kind of, we'll see about this one. Hi Mika, welcome. Okay, let's see about this one. Cabernet, so, uh, Cabernet grape. Okay, it's strong, it's strong guys. This one has a lot of presence. Okay, I love it and I hate it at the same time. It's, it's very strong, so I can smell it from here. It is a Cabernet grape for sure, you know. Uh, it will have to be blended with something else, but it's beautiful. But it's not something that I will just make a candle out of this one by itself. No, this one uh, I will have to blend with something else. The oak really helps making this more uh, adult smelling, okay? Otherwise, it will smell like, uh, like grape juice, but it doesn't because of that, of that note. Okay. The next one is cedar leaf and lavender. This is the, the label. Hi, Billy Joe. Okay. Alluring fields of French lavender mingle with tender greens and woody fa facets for a warm finish. Scent inspired by nest uh, candles. Okay, this. Uh, let's see. The top note is citrus peppery. C top note citrus peppery. Uh, okay, let's start over again. Top note citrus peppery green, camphor and eucalyptus. I don't know. Middle note herbal lavender, geranium, rose, violet. I don't know about this one, guys, but we'll see. The bottom note is amber, oak moss, sandalwood, cedar leaf, cedarwood tonka. Okay. I don't know, but I'm... I don't know about this one, guys. I hope I like it. We'll see. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. This is truly, truly, truly special. Oh my god, this I will make a candle by itself. Oh my god, this goes all year round. It's beautiful, very welcoming, very woodsy, very... Also, the camphor and the eucalyptus really like make this into a aromatherapy candle, guys. Huge, huge surprise. 
I was not expecting as that I was gonna like it as much as I have, guys. This is beautiful for you, okay? I love it, I love it a lot. And I like this one by itself, but I'm gonna to try to blend with something else. But by itself, this will make an amazing candle. Okay, this one I'm gonna leave on the side in here because that one is truly special. Okay, I'm very surprised and I love it. Yes, more likes, please. Okay. The next one is uh, Cashmere Cedar. Okay, this is the one, the next one. Okay, so let me read you all about it. Okay. Sweep top notes, sprinkle over a bed of petals and finish with a smooth woody base. Uh, the, uh, the top note is vanilla sugar. The middle note is rose, jasmine, and vanilla orchid. Uh, the bottom note is cedarwood, creamy vanilla, smooth musk. Okay. Again, this one I'm kind of hesitant, but we'll see. I may get surprised again. No, this is amazing. Boy, was I wrong. Oh my goodness, was I wrong. This is heavenly. This is love. This is love. This is pure love. There's no words that I can use to describe this, guys. Pure love. It's very warm, very cozy, very inviting, very... Uh, the creaminess of the vanilla, guys. This is amazing. And the smooth musk. Oh, I don't know. This whole combination, guys, is all combina combination of notes. It is truly, truly magical, guys. This is the perfect Valentine's Day candle, guys, by itself. But I'm going to blend it with something else. But I'm going to put it on my special, on this side, on my special, uh, my favorite ones. Wow, 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 guys. I'm blown away. I'm blown away. I'm getting a big size of that one, too. Okay. The next one is Cotton Amber. Okay, this is another one that I'm hesitant about, but you know what, guys? We have to try different things, okay? So this is the label. Okay, light and airy cotton is enhanced with the richness of amber mingle with floral and woody notes. An earthy, exotic twist on the fresh familiarity of clean cotton. Uh, the notes are, the top note, fresh, airy ozone. Middle note, it's green, uh, green floral, orris root. I don't know what orris root is. Bottom note is amber and rich woods. Okay. Come on. I just want to get surprised. Okay, let me close this. Let's see about this one, guys. Let's see about this one. Okay, this one is beautiful for a spring candle. Uh, it doesn't scream a uh, lot to me. It's very, it's very uh, fresh, but it's it doesn't belong on. It doesn't belong on, on this group, okay, guys. But this is a beautiful scent, beautiful, beautiful. I will I try to make a, a spring candle out of this one, but for this, what I'm looking for is not it, okay? So I'm gonna put it to the side. Yes, and you know me, guys. I have to be honest with what I'm telling you because otherwise, you know, we all have to be honest. The next one is Kentucky Bourbon. Okay, so this is the, the label. Okay, an intoxicating blend of bourbon, rum, and cognac notes unfold into a heart of geranium, palmarosa, and rose accord. A dark, woody blend of cedar and vetiver create the base. The notes are top note, bourbon, rum, and cognac. Middle notes, geranium, palmarosa, and rose. Bottom note, cedar and vetiver. Yes! Okay, let's see about this one. Let's see. Mia, I think, I mean, wow, I think Mia was traveling to South Carolina, if I'm not mistaken, on the last, 
on my last live stream. I think she said she was traveling there. I'm not sure. But that's why she's not here. I'm assuming. Okay, Kentucky Bourbon. Okay, I told you already the information. Wow. Okay. It's too boozy for me. It's too it's too much. Uh maybe if they only kept it for one booze, you know, bourbon or cognac. Uh, I think the rum really kills this. It kills the sophistication, it kills the romantic mood. I think it's it's too much. I don't like it at all. It's it's too powerful. Maybe as a hint, if you if you put this on a tropical drink, you know, with a tiny, tiny, tiny bit, okay? That's what I will use it for. But by itself, no. Yes, Mika, yes, I think she was going to North Carolina. I think she's, uh, she's traveling. Okay, so I'm going to pass on Kentucky the, uh, bourbon, okay? Put it to the side. Okay, the next one. Patchouli Amber Fragrance Oil. Yes! The next one, earthy blend of light citrus followed by warm clove and exotic florals on a delicate bed of silky moss and patchouli. The notes are, the top note is green citrus, green and citrus, middle note, lily, clove, bottom note, patchouli, musk, and vanilla. Okay, I don't know about this one, but let's try it. Okay. Okay, you know what? The first hint that I got out of this is melting me like gasoline. I don't know why. I don't like this one at all either. I think the green and the citrus together, it, it doesn't go. Maybe the maybe the lily and the clove. I don't know what it is. This one I'm gonna have to pass. This patchouli amber is melting me like gasoline. Yeah, I'm gonna put it throw it away. And I and I ordered a big bottle, so okay. The next one is redwood and cedar. Let's see. Oh, let me read you the information first. I'm so disappointed with the patchouli amber, guys. I spent so much money on that, but you know what? Live and learn. Okay, redwood and cedar. Red apples, coconut milk, and red raspberries are surrounded with cedar and redwood on a base of tonka, sheer wood, and vanilla beans. Top note, apple, coconut, raspberry, middle note, cedar, redwood, bottom notes, uh, tonka, and vanilla. Okay, so here we go. Amazing. Truly, truly, truly amazing. I didn't think that I was gonna like the coconut in there, you know, but I it's so minimal the coconut smell. I think in, in, in it, it helps to blend everything together, but it's beautiful guys. I think this is gonna go blend it well with chocolate, you know, so beautiful. I'm gonna keep it to the side, okay? Beautiful, I'm very impressed, very impressed. Okay, and the last one. It's, let me see. The last one is smoked vanilla. Smoked vanilla, okay. An intriguing, rustic, and masculine fragrance that balances smoke and creamy vanilla notes with spices of, to tone down the sweetness. Generally found in vanilla based fragrances inspired by the BBW scent, okay. Top note is smoke and clove. Middle note, sandalwood, jasmine, and bottom notes, amber and vanilla moss. Uh, guys, this is my favorite vanilla scent ever, okay? Like, plain vanilla, this is my favorite one. You know, it's that I try. And I try many, many, many vanilla ones. And I like it because it's not as sweet as the other vanillas that I try. 
Well, this one, it takes a cake, the icing in the cake. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful. I love it. Okay, so this one is gonna go with a lot of my blends. Okay. So, okay guys, so I see a few of you talking about Simbi fragrance oil. Uh, I like them a lot, you know, it's, I made a candle so far and I really like that candle. I think it's very tricky because uh, you have to, you have to really mix uh, the wax very high temperature. And also I think um, most of the blends that, I, that I've seen from there, uh, I like, I like to blend them, you know, but that's me, you know, everybody likes different things, you know, and I like to make, I'm working on a resort uh, destination kind of line, kind of line for, next, for this year. And I want to make something special and I like to blend different fragrance oil from different companies, you know, like I had the um, Stone Candles or fragrance oils that you can see in the back in there. I love them, you know, so I'm, I need to play with them and, and, you know, and try blending different, different blends. Okay. Because that's the way I am. You know, it's, it's just like, uh, uh, you have to blend, you have to find what really calls your name. You know, it's, uh, for example, that candle that I made, uh, what was the what was the name? Uh, the uh, the fragrance all from Simbi fragrance that I cried because it reminded me of my best friend that passed away. You know that's the kind of effect that I want to get on a fragrance oil. I want a fragrance oil that to me, when I smell it, it takes me back to a place and, and time that I remember that makes me happy. You know that I uh, it's it's what really moves you. You know it's like when you smell a perfume, it takes you back to another place. You know and uh, yeah. And to me, the my favorite fragrance oil, I have to say, guys, is 1617. Nothing can compare to, 16, to 1617. You know, their sophistication, uh, their blends, you know, uh, it's something that is... I have not found any other company that can compare to them. You know, that's, you know, and I have to be honest, okay? Okay, so let's see. Uh, the vanilla from Candle Science is too sweet. I don't like it at all. Okay, you're gonna love this one from uh, from the flaming can. Okay, guys, so let's start blending. Okay, so I have in here chocolate. Oh my god, it's making me hungry. Okay, I'm gonna smell. I'm gonna blend chocolate with smoked vanilla. Okay, because you cannot go wrong when you smell, smell these two together. Okay, this is really, really, really beautiful, guys. Uh, the mix of smoked vanilla and chocolate from Flaming Candle. But it smells, it needs something to pull it together. Uh, this is too yummy for me. It makes me, it makes me hungry. It does, it's not making me feel romantic. So, let me try something else in here, okay? Let me try something else. So, I'm going to try um, chocolate. I'm going to mix it with... Chocolate Amber, okay? Let's see, Chocolate Amber and Chocolate together. Okay, you see now this is taking me to a different direction. This is pure love. <sighs> pure love. Okay, you know why? Because it's decadent. It makes you yummy, 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 yummy. But the Amber in the background makes, it wakes up all your senses. It wakes up the animal in you. If you know what I mean? <sighs> Perfect combination, guys. Okay, combination number one, take note, is chocolate and chocolate amber, equal parts, okay? Let me make a note of that. So I can tell you at the end of the video. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. Okay, chocolate amber, chocolate, and chocolate amber, equal parts. That's candle number one. Oh my God, yes. Okay, oh my goodness, I love this blend. But I'm gonna keep trying, guys. I'm gonna give you different, different combinations, okay. For another vibe, okay. Black, amber, and lavender. <sighs> okay, because we like black, amber. I'm gonna try black, amber, and chocolate. I mean, chocolate, chocolate and amber. And let's see how this goes. 
Okay, no. Too much amber, it kills the vibe. Okay, so black amber and lavender. Let's see what else I can mix with this. I'm gonna try amber and wood. I want a woodsy, very uh, masculine type fragrance. Let's let blend this too. Okay. Guys, you have to try this. You have to try this. Amber and oud. Amber and oud. And black amber and lavender. You know why? Because it's, it's, it's yummy. It's not chocolate. It's another vibe. It's very romantic, very relaxing, very intimate, you know? <sighs> okay. Amber and oud. Plus, black amber and lavender. You don't have to take notes, guys. I'm gonna put all these down below on the description box, okay? So don't worry about taking notes. I'll, I'll put them on down for you, okay? Oh my God, what a good candle this is gonna make. Okay. Cashmere, cashmere cedar, <sighs> cashmere cedar, guys. This is amazing. <sighs> okay, let me let me try this cashmere cedar with something else. Let me try with chocolate and see what we get. <sighs> chocolate is too overpowering. It kills it kills the vibe of the of the cedar. You have to be careful when you do this guys because sometimes chocolate could be way too overpowering. Okay, I'm gonna try uh, cashmere cedar and redwood and cedar, okay? Let's see what vibes I get from this one. Beautiful. The red wine cedar and the cashmere cedar makes it very warming, very uh, very rustic, but very very romantic, guys. I really like this one a lot. Okay. But by, by themselves, it will also make a great candle. So it's up to you, you know. If you if you love cedar, guys, but by, by all means, mix the two of them. I'm gonna make a candle out of this. It's beautiful. Red look and cedar. Plus cashmere cedar. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, the next. Let me try the chocolate amber with the Cabernet grape, okay? I wanna make an adult combination here. Wow, guys. Okay, this is a true hit. But I wanna add more chocolate to this. I want to make this super, super, super decadent. I'm gonna take chocolate by itself and I'm gonna add it to the party because the grape is very intense, but I want the intensity of the chocolate. Let's see. Okay, it works, but you have to take the chocolate down. I need to think about this. I think the chocolate is too strong. So let's try Cabernet grape. Just for the hell of it, let me see with mocha mint.
it almost works. But what I don't like is that the grape is fighting with the mint. It's I can feel the energy just going like this. Guys, you won't believe how uh, the scent speaks to me, you know? And I get a vibe, you know, it's beautiful, but it's beautiful separate, you know? And when you put them together, they just like, boom! You don't want to be together. It's amazing. It's amazing, guys. Okay, let's see if I use Cabernet Grape and Smoked Vanilla. Let's see what I get. This is very nice. The smoked vanilla really envelops the, the grape, encapsulates the grape, and it makes it more, uh, less intense. Makes it, 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 it makes them go to sleep in a way. So you get the essence of the grape without the, uh, the harshness, the potency, the strength. It sense it's beautiful together, guys. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna make a candle out of this one too, guys. Cabernet grape. And smoked vanilla. And will I do it uh, equal parts? Let's see. Equal parts. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, let's see what else I have in here, guys, for you. So, guys, I'm giving you a lot of ideas, you know, for you to try. You know, if you want, just get samples from the flaming candle and try these mixes. You know, it's uh, these are the mixing that I'm talking to me. You know, it's like beautiful. Okay, let's see what else I have in here. Okay, the other two, I'm not gonna touch because I didn't. They don't belong in this group. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna try black amber and lavender with a redwood and cedar. Let's see what I get. No, Ooh, no, 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 no. <sighs> redwood and cedar by itself. <sighs> it's so beautiful. Very sexy, very romantic, guys. I will try and I'm gonna do a candle by itself with this one, redwood and cedar, because it's very, it's very different, you know, guys, and it's also sometimes, sometimes you're eating candy, you know, you're eating chocolate bonbons and you don't want to have candy also kind of there on, on your candle. So you can do this candle in here, guys, with a red cedar and, and red book and, and cedar by itself, definitely. Okay. Okay, guys, so that's my recommendation for you guys. I have 19 people, guys. Could you please give me more likes so the video does better on, on YouTube, please? Okay, guys, do you have any questions for me? I would love to hear any suggestions that you have uh, for any candles that you want me to make for you. You know, it would be great for me to, to get ideas from you. And guys, don't forget, okay, this Tuesday, uh, January 3rd at 8 o'clock in the morning is going to be my next candle of the week. Uh, unfortunately, because I need to take, uh, I have a, a vet appointment that early. Uh, to take my dog for the checkup, I'm not going to be able to do a premiere. So the vi uh, the video will go up, we upload at 8 o'clock in the morning, but it's not going to be a premiere, okay, guys? Uh, because I'm going to be at the vet, okay? Yes! Okay, guys, so the guys, if you have any questions for me, if not, I'm going to end uh, the live streaming here. I'm going to go upstairs and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write these uh, recommendations down on the description box below, okay, guys? And um, again, have a wonderful New Year's. The Simbi for after your last video. Yes, Simbi, very good, beautiful fragrance oils, guys. Uh, check check them out because you're gonna love them, okay? Especially if you wanna do like a a, a resort a destination kind of a fragrance line on candle line on your on your on your um, on your business, you're gonna love them, okay? Yes, okay, guys. So I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget Tuesday. I'm gonna be having uh, uploading the next candle of the week, and I'll see you then, okay? Thank you for joining me today, guys. Have a wonderful week. Yes! Yes!